Manipur observes 15th state with day. Chief Minister and Berenak Zut's happiness upon Manipur begging third rank in Niti Ayok's India Innovation Index 2020 in Northeast and Hills category. Chief Minister Nongtaman Biran campaigns for autonomous district council election at Ukru Town Hall. Manipur reports 19 new confirmed cases of COVID-19, 43 recoveries and no COVID fatality in the last 24 hours. Death toll remains 367. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and all chief ministers likely to be administered COVID-19 vaccine dose in second stage of mass vaccination. And India records 15,223 new COVID-19 cases taking countries daily above 1 crore 6 lakhs 10,000. Recovery rate stands above 96%. Hello and welcome to Impact News Watching Primetime English Bulletin. I'm Kangozam Shalira. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your mask properly and maintain a safe distance. Now the top stories and latest news at this hour. Chief Minister Nautaman Biren has greeted people of Manipur on the occasion of 15th State with Day 2021. Presentation of Mars Pass by eight period contingents was the main attraction of the state level function held at the first Butley and Manipur Rifant parade ground in Imphal. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister expressed pride and happiness that Manipur has backed third position in NITI's IOC India Innovative Index 2020 in the Northeast and Hills category, the first being Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand taking the second place. And Biren asserted that Manipur is moving forward with the advent of BJP government, which strive to bring equal development of both hills and valley regions of the state. The Chief Minister further stated that the recognition given by Niti Ayok has proved that Manipur is moving towards upward growth trend with new ideas, development and grassroots level and considerable improvement in law and order. He claimed that the government is all set to integrate various projects in the near future. The Chief Minister disclosed that State Cabinet has decided to upgrade DM University into a full-fledged university by filling off the back-end post of the university's vice-chancellor and teachers. He added that State has obtained approval from the Centre for the construction of children's amusement parks in Ukru, Chanapati, Churjampur, Chandil, Kampopi, the Menglong and Jiribam district headquarters. He added that construction of 47 primary health sub centers at rural and hill areas under MOBC are also in the pipeline. Viren said all arrangements have been made to construct a temporary structure along with the ongoing construction of the main building of Churjampur Medical College with 100 MBBS seats capacity. Viren is short of efforts to complete the structure before the upcoming economic session. Paying homage to the late Mazar Lystrom Jordan of the Indian Army Medical Corporal, who died in the suicide bombing attack on the Indian Embassy at Kabul in Afghanistan on January 26, 2011, Chief Minister Anne Berend handed over a check amount of 5 lakh rupees to his surviving sister, Dr. Lystrom Binakumari, at the event. Lok Sabha MP R K Ranjan has called upon youths to acknowledge the sacrifice and contribution made by the state leaders to attend Manipur State with status. He was speaking at the Manipur State with Day observance held at Statewood Square complex today. 
Ex MLA Nauria Pakanglakpa Constituency RK Anand, Chairman of Statewood Square Development Committee El Jatra, and former Minister KH Jibont were among those present on the occasion. Laibat amana part C state wena the great toral eramba duim mangda nagalen wona asamgi naga hill district enle eramba duna state wona hana pi ki ba koi kisina thera teng na pi bana maram hoy thena state amagi planning masana taujana boi kotpagi adugi tanja phangi thaba teng su teng na seventy one da koi state road phange koi ki sugumba public movement tam toraga state road phangi ba se masigi observe to bose thanga sigi kuntra su bose da ayha kusu yahon bi ba aduga tungda state road se karmai phangi ge se coming. Generation sing da koi na legacy amo na ulla kanda koi ki state se mapung kaba acho uba ma ohen na bagi adu mai pandam da to uba kano ne na ina panja denge. President, Vice President, and Prime Minister have greeted the people of Meghalaya, Manipur, and Tripura on the occasion of this deed with day today. President Ramnath Kovin said these deeds are fascinating and are blessed with immense natural beauty, rich history, and rival culture. He extended warm wishes to move ahead on the path of multifaceted development. Vice President N. Vekya Naidu said these northeastern states have retained their special place in India and have shown the way to the rest of the country through their natural diet and healthy lifestyle. He added that the three states have come a long way since their state formation, making India proud in every field. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said the culture and uh, the culture and the warm-hearted nature of the people of Tripura is admired across India. Manipur is a powerhouse of innovation and sporting talent, and Meghalaya is known for its remarkable kindness and spirit of brotherhood. Chief Minister Nangtaman Biren has campaigned for autonomous district council elections at Ukrul Town Hall. Taking part in the one-day BJP district level meeting with the Bud presidents organized by BJP Funkiar, Ukrul and Chingai Mandant in the presence of BJP national spokesperson Sabit Patra today, Chief Minister and Biren announced that Centre has approved to construct a children's amusement park worth 5 crore rupees in Ukrul district. He reiterated that BJP state government is striving for equal developments of both hills and valley regions. Biren assured that the government will strive to settle the issues related to insurgency and imposition of Armed Forces Special Powers Act facing the residents of Ukrul district without further delay. Social Welfare Minister Okram Henry and other party leaders attended the event. Former president of the Hyperdoc, yes, we'll convey. If we sold an evening, peace food, settlement of Motorpudo, Modo Equis of Freight or Ribbon, Equinus Angama Matin Panga, Wilson Wider, a document, Preto Minase, Ukrul, Singai, the Gipungyar, Hyber District, Kendra Homsiki Lady, the leader sing. I loyal Maming Pandragasu, Quigi, Somi Hoy, Priso Hoy, Somata, Somata Yamkana, Tabuto, and I own myself of Porta, very good. Unitedly talk to you. Punso lo koi ki differences lai bato. Me kudi mal hoye na differences lai gani. But adu bo sacrifice kar suta hu na bata hai. Forgive kar suta hu bata hai. Forget kar suta hu bata hai. Na tera kada aigi pointu da aigi pointu da dum sikta orugal lai kada ekana asuti na bhiyaro. Aigi koi ukrul districts da ida development da. Asi ki lambi asai hai bato lambi mati ekara phatte. Aigi immediately aigi hai aayi obo gai NSC dishelgi kangbu kaur kanda aigi lep hi bata bato lep thana bai continue thana bai warning thau bani. Manipur has reported a single-day spike of 19 new confirmed cases of COVID-19. No dead case was reported in the last 24 hours. As per State Health Department and COVID-19 Command Control Room press release at 5 p.m. today, Manipur's total confirmed COVID-19 cases have reached 28,938, out of which 220 are active cases. Manipur's death toll from COVID-19 remains at 367. 
On the positive note, 43 people were discharged in the past 24 hours and recovered cases have reached 28,351. State's recovery rate stands at 97.9%. Newly infected persons are all from the general population. They are 10 from Imphal West, 4 from Prichur Jampur and 1 each from Imphal East, Thaubal, Bisnupur, Chandal and Chanapati. All necessary medical precautionary measures like containment and contract tracing are in place. Indian Army paid tribute to COVID warriors in the state with live pipe band display today. State Chief Secretary Dr. Rajesh Kumar, 57th Mountain Division, GOC Major General VT Matthew, Indian Army officers, retired officers, top Army and health officers, and coronavirus frontline warriors attended the event held at Bigger Chandra Open Air Theatre in Palace Compound. Gracing the event as the chief guest, State Chief Secretary Dr. Rajas Kumar said the coronavirus pandemic has taught a great lesson to humanity. He said the pandemic has taught people to unite, cooperate, to be resilient and self-reliance. Dr. Rajas Kumar also highlighted various initiatives taken by the government to battle the pandemic right from bringing home to many people who were stranded outside the state. He held all the COVID warriors for their extraordinary contribution in fighting the colossal pandemic. We have stood as one right from the lockdown period to the unlock period until today. Everybody has contributed and we have managed COVID epidemic in the state extremely well. It was under very dynamic and visionary leadership of our own chief minister. And I will expect that our COVID warriors will continue to fight the pandemic, help the needy people, help the sick. On behalf of everyone present here, I wish to express our gratitude and deep appreciation to all the doctors, healthcare workers, sanitation workers, police personnel who have dedicated themselves towards protecting and caring for people during this pandemic. These martial tunes over the years have been inspiring and motivating our troops in the battlefield. In these times of pandemic, with our COVID warriors who are as good as frontline troops, we hope this martial music will help instill a sense of pride and galvanize them. Continue in their efforts to provide succor to the needy. A team of Kakshin District Police carried out search operations at Wobagai Bazaar today from 3.30 p.m. till 4.00 p.m. as a part of security measures ahead of upcoming Republic Day. The team, including women personnel under the command of Kakshin District Police Inspector Mohammed Abbas Khan, verified altogether 150 people. No one was arrested. A team of Kakching District Police also carried out search operations at Hianglam Wobogai Lamkai Market area today. The team, led by Kakching District Commando OC Mohammed Abbas Khan, carried out the trial and verified altogether 100 individuals. 15 individuals without proper verification proofs were picked up and handed over to the relevant police station for further investigation. Hangan police team under the instruction of the Infaltis District Deputy Commissioner has been keeping a tap on violators of the Manipur Conservation of Paid Land and Wetland Act 2014 in the Hangang Assembly Constituency. Hengang police team led by OC KH Pato under the supervision of the SDBO Purampat and SDC Hengang has been carrying out the drive since January 5. They have seized 13 Tata Dippers, 4 JCPs, 2 Bali Rus and other incriminating during the drive. The team will continue similar drive. Likla Bakery, Thangzamt Agro Industries Private Limited, today opened its 11th written outlet named Lakshmi Thangzamt and Sons near Manipur University campus Main Gate. Managing Director of Thangzamt Agro Industries Private Limited, Thangzam Joy Kumar, and Manipur University Vice Chancellor Professor Amar Kimnam jointly inaugurated the new outlet. Speaking at the event, Thangzam Joy Kumar short of opening more Likla Bakery outlets across the state in the future.
and innovator in the state has come up with a low cost egg incubator however his endeavor to upgrade the machine is being hindered due to financial constraint it would be brutal for the authorities concerned to provide him necessary health impact news brings you a special report <laughs> Egg incubator hatches way more number of eggs than a hen. From business perspective, using an incubator can prove to be quite profitable. Hence, poultry farmers are importing egg incubators at much expenses from outside the state. Farmers can now purchase egg incubator made in Manipur at a much lower price. Entrepreneur and innovator Irom Jiten from Sagolban Nepra Manjar Lekai after completion of two years course on electronics at ITI Takiel followed by another six months short term course has invented an egg incubator. Innovative Jitain has created egg incubators capable of hatching 300 eggs to 1000 eggs. He has made the incubators recycling old refrigerator boxes. His creation is an inspiration for many people to recycle waste products. <laughs> Poultry farmers can easily earn between 10,000 to 15,000 rupees per month utilizing Irom Jitain's egg incubator. Shockingly, Jitain created the machine without any help from the government as he didn't know how to avail the benefits. Sing Tarabi, Posina, Yum de Lerga, May Walandana Tamumatamda, Tam Sing Tranga, Tram Pandi, Dum Lingana, Tamagami. I did my Tadela Tamamani, I know Pisaka Amata, we are Pamarjan Labuka Bujalagazo, May Walandragadi, and we UPS own the land Tamogadi, Tabu Ahum Tonobo, Dum Satan Baya, we wait later. See, your success in the Ain Hydrogy, point two years experience later on every day. Mashi <laughs> 
Trying panic they own Bahore Equa. Trying panic in a Kuma to any Bosig, Manu, the Dum, Tap Tanadum, no Magi, Maribangaming Adam, Ola Paduna, Marie, uh, Humni Marini Bogiman, the Moise, Adam Manadana, the Oleba, Aduga Nanugi, the Tappe, Madi, Madame de Mai, Makut Havanina. Irom Jitian endeavors to upgrade his egg incubator box and make it available at low cost to help poultry farmers of Manipur to boost their income and contribute to the state's economy. So, we have to do the same person. We have to do the same person. We have to do the We have to do the same person. 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 We the same person. We have to do 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 the same person. We have to the same YouTube, the Kandi Kaba, the Kari, the Kandi, Summa, Evadash, Summizum, this going inside the Summizum, then Marilyn, and we love we are copy. I have the Kitang happening. But The state government of Manipur has launched various schemes like startup schemes and many others for the welfare of our youths. But there are many talented and skillful people who are unaware of those schemes. So if the government look into this matter and provide financial help to those talented people, then that will boost the economy of our state. With Camera Operation LKB, this is Katrimayum Premsan reporting for Impact News in Fall. Professor P. Gunindra has been appointed as the new Vice Chancellor of Manipur University of Culture. As part and order released by the Governor of Manipur, come Chancellor of Manipur University of Culture, Dr. Nasma Haftala, Professor P. Gunindra has been appointed to serve as the Vice Chancellor for a period of five years with effect from the death he takes charge of the post or until he attends the age of 70 years, whichever is earlier. Mintwell Government Dance College Student Union has expressed happiness upon the appointment of Professor P. Gunindu Sharma as Vice Chancellor of Manipi University of Culture. Joint Action Committee formed against the missing boy Rivas of Taubal Moizink has appealed to Chief Minister Anne Birin to help in tracing him. Speaking to media today, JSC co convener Mohammed Abar said that the boy went missing on January 2019. He appealed to the government and CSOs to help in searching the missing boy. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on coronavirus vaccinations of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and all other chief ministers in the near future. Keep watching Impact News. Chabu Mahitam Hanba have a Sima Mama passing the Machada Piba number Kwaidiki Chabu Kudoni. Slopland Public School, biggest and the finest residential school, Manipurgi Oina Lemjuningai Oiraba, Mahitam Pam Ama Oiriba, Kwaidiki Junior of Mamma Semgat Laba, CBS the affiliate Toba, Higher Secondary School Ori. Ichasim admission to Widana Mama passing the Machada Piba number Kwaidiki Chabu Kudol Oibu, Ichagi Pazabalam Sazati Ahombadu, Ubiu, Slopland Public School Kongjom. Electric lock cover na maram oidu na asabe ising pangloru hai bi nu sa thi ngai lai traba. Palmson Solar Water Heater. Ai khoi ge address hai rang oidu ni thamcha karong Impalwes. Palmson rong ki tum ki na mata. Ban 
Al-Khabi Housing Finance Company Limited, regulated by RBI, specified as a financial institution by the Ministry of Finance, Government of India, under Surface C Act 2002. First license holder, Public Limited Housing Finance Company in the entire northeastern region of India, completed its 15 years of service. Provides home loan with a subsidy amount up to rupees 2.67 lakh under PMAY Credit Link Subsidy Scheme, PMAY CLSS Housing for All by 2022 Mission. Government of Private Employees, Businessmen can apply. For more details, kindly contact Bantubi Housing Finance Company Limited or reporter on Mamlaikai Imphal. Welcome back. After the break, you're watching Primetime English Bulletin. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is likely to get COVID-19 vaccine shot in the second stage of the ongoing mass vaccination drive in the country. Sources said that the Prime Minister and all other chief ministers will be administered the vaccine dose after the first phase of mass vaccination ends. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has urged citizens not to ignore the second dose of the vaccine and has appealed to ignore rumours about the efficacy of the COVID-19 vaccine. He has declared that 30 crore people would be inculcated by the second phase of vaccination expected to be in March or April. India has recorded 15,223 new cases of coronavirus, taking the country's COVID-19 case load to 1 crore 6 lakhs 10,883 in the last 24 hours. As part of the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, death toll has reached 1 lakh 52,869 with 151 new fatalities. On the positive note, recovered cases have reached 1 crore 2 lakh 65,706. Country's recovery rate touches 96.7. Kerala has the highest infection of the above 69,000 active cases. So far, above 8 lakh 6,000 people have been vaccinated against coronavirus in the country. Globally, above 9 crore 74 lakhs 10,000 people have been infected by the coronavirus. Above 2 crore 85,000 people have died and recoveries are above 6 crore 99 lakhs 91,000. USA has the highest infection of the above 96 lakhs 14,000 active cases in the world, followed by India and Brazil. China stands at 83rd position with 1,598 COVID-19 active cases. Why? YVU Financial Services Private Limited received Vijaya Lakshmi Das Award for Small and Emerging Microfinance today. Finance and Corporate Affairs, Government of India, Minister of State Anurag Thakur handed over the award to the Managing Director of the YVU Financial Services Private Limited, Bikin Rizit Singh Akwezam. The award was conferred as a part of the Inclusive Financed India Award held at New Delhi, jointly organized by Access Development Services and HSBC India. The award ceremony was held in commemoration of the 69th birth anniversary of Vijaya Lakshmidas, popularly known as Mother of Indian Microfinance. The award is given to encourage successful entrepreneurs of micro, small and medium enterprises sector from the grassroots level. It may be mentioned that the parent organization of NGO YVU Finance uh, uh, Services Private Limited Youth Volunteers Union was formed in 1970 and its microfinance activities began in 1996. The company obtained MBFC MFI in 2016 and is the loaned MFBC MFI based company in the state. Thabal College held its annual award and prize distribution ceremony today. Internet quality assurance sales of the college organized event at its campus. Six students of the college who back positioned in the recent examination conducted by Manipur University, 15 students who secured high marks and student athletes who cleaned positioned at state and national level sports competitions were felicitated at the event. Principal of the college presented awards and certificates to the meritorious students. One day food safety training and certificate programmed on Eat Right Challenge for Food Business Operators and Services of Tobal District was held at a complex of Chief Medical Officer Tobal today. Food Safety Administration Tobal organized a program under District Administration Tobal. 
Amtex Food Engineering Alt Intelligent Knowledge and Skills Center, Mirankong Lystrom, Basantarani, Alex Sarungbam, Biswazit and Fotik, Nodal Officer Saugaizam Surendra to wear the resource person. To the students' induction program, Dick Saramt uh, on the team socializing, associating, governing, and experiencing was held at Lilong Hauribi College today by abiding UCC guidelines. Manipur University's controller of examination and professor of Department of Physics, Ngangbom Nimai Lilong Hauribi College principal, Dr. Rahi Yuzint Saik and senior professor El Sanahanbi attended the program, which aimed to raise students on UCC guidelines. Members of Manipur Muslim Welfare Organization, Pubak Chao Komlakong Branch, along with Pubak Chao Anti Drug Committee and Sims Health Helping Group, Manipur held a one day free health camp at Pubak Chao today. Many locals were checked off and free medicines were provided to those in need at the camp. Masita tuan tuan pun doktor singat layanan makhluk kaya, mereka layangi amadi. Masita nanti nanti es makhluk kaya, mesti kau layam nanti uzuri loi nanti hidup langkah. Anak bersing amari layan hidup makhluk kaya, mesti kau layam nanti piri. Makhluk tuan tuan suiram nanti manipur. Sida layan ibat tuan tuan pun ham singda. Kau anak layangi kudung cah dapat kaya. Mayuk nanti ibat singa sepuk nanti bagi pandam the same helping group na. Kau covid nineteen na lak pada ingat si power lift nanti muncat teruk lak ceri. Kau makhluk tuan tuan su. Kau manung hancur nanti ibat pandam dam sing sida kau anak layangi kudung cah dapat kaya mayuk nanti ibat se. Kau Birmangon College Sawungbung held its 48th Foundation Day celebration today. 48th Foundation Day Observation Committee organized the event at the college campus. College Principal Dr. A. Surin Trezit, Vice Principal Dr. T. H. Bimol, Founder Member L. Sazo, Donor Nominee R. K. Jadumani, and President of College Teachers Association Dr. R. K. Brizakumar attended the program. Ningon Club Hyrok held its third Foundation Day celebration at the club office in Hyrok Part 2 today. The club was formed under the initiative of the Coalition Against Drugs and Alcohol, Kada Manipur. Kada President Hizam Priyo Kumar and Vice President Dipon Jit Ningthausen graced the event. Manipur State Film Development Society MSFDS Auditorium in Palace Compound has been renamed as Palace Auditorium. Press release signed by State Art and Culture Commissioner M. Joy in the name of Manipur Governor says the notice is issued with approval of the competent authority and as per resolution number 13 of the 6th Executive Board meeting of MSFDS held on September 10 last year. Manipur Film Actor National Awardee Lai Sang Tem Ton Thoit has traced on the role of the women in nation building and has urged parents to support career choices of their children. She was speaking at the event held as a part of the week-long observance of National Girl Child Day organized by Bharat Bikas Parishat Manipur Prant at Nexa Chimairong today. Ton Thoi, who was back, for, uh, was back various awards for their acting power, provost in films were facilitated on the occasion. It may be mentioned that she has received awards in regional film category for Manipur film Pizigi Mani. She has also appeared in Assamese film Barika Ranyant, The Rainforest and Isu which back a national award. Tontoy has backed the Best Actor Female Award for Manipur films Pat Ki Tharo and Ichi Tampa in the Northeast. Sanitary plates and edible items sponsored by MS Eastern Motors Info were presented to 28 girls at the event. Resource person also streets on girls hyacinth on the occasion. Five-day art appreciation workshop held since January 17 concluded today. Sumang Lila Producer Association organized the workshop at Ipal Taukok Complex in Lumfeld in Infalt West District. Sangit Natak Academy New Delhi member, come coordinator of state art and culture, Nababol Kino Grace, developed the victory event. 
Speaking on the occasion, workshop director Dr. Maniko Mani Mangsaba pointed out the contribution of Samang Lila to the society. Speaking on the sidelines, president of Samang Lila Producer Association, Ningombam Tomba said that a play title, Hira Chandra, performed by professional Samang Lila artists from various Samang Lila groups, were showcased during the workshop. Certificates of appreciation were distributed to participants at the valedictory event. Three day workshop on perspective on Manipur culture kicked off at Manipur University Court Hall today. Manipur University Department of Dance and Music organized a workshop funded by UCD Stripe Component I. Speaking on the occasion to Manipur University Vice Chancellor Amar Gimnam said, the workshop will benefit those working the field of culture. Many eminent personalities gave resourceful insights on Manipur culture on the first day of the workshop. in accordance with the culture and the ethos of the society in which the University or Research Institute is located. But we have been facing all these years a problem whereby the University is an isolated world existence and the society is somewhere. And we have been feeling for quite some time that like any robust University anywhere in the world, we also need to try to converse with the ethos and the culture of Manipur such that we are able to evolve a kind of an institute which is not only robust but absolutely unique. Art Society Manipur will organize the 7th Maharas Kumar Priyabhadra Singh Memorial Art Exhibition from February 17th till 19th and 12th Art Society Manipur Annual Art Exhibition from March 7th till 11th. Interested artists may submit their artworks between February 5 till 28. They may also visit the Art Society Manipur office for further details. Korkom, a conglomerate of various postcraft outfit, has imposed 18 hour total shutdown in the state. From midnight of January 25 till 6 pm of January 26, boycotting the 72nd India's Republic Day. Press release from the outfit urged the public to support the boycott. A rear twin suicide bombing killed at least 28 people and wounded 73 others on a bus link commercial street in the capital of Iraq, Baghdad, rupturing months of relative calm today. The double explosion reportedly hit a crowded market in the Balt Al Sergi area near Tariant Square. Military said the two suicide bombers detonated their explosives as they were being pursued by security forces. Iraq Health Ministry said it had mobilized medics across the capital to respond to the deadly attack. Individuals who sustained injuries in the blast were rushed to the nearby hospitals after years of deadly sectarian violence following the 2003 U.S. invasion. Suicide bombing have become relatively rare in the capital. The last such attack took place in June 2019 and left several people's death. No groups have claimed the attack. Now the sports news. Neroka FC trans India's A road 4-0 in yesterday's 15th match of the ongoing 14th Iron League hosted by Kolkata under Old India Football Federation at Kalyani Stadium. For the winners, Judah Garcia scored two goals at 27th and 66th minute, while Vetmi Kalont and Kaiming Tang Lung deemed scored one goal each at 30th and 72nd minute of the match. Churchin Brothers is at the top of the league table daily with seven points, followed by Real Kashmir and Mohammedan SC at second and third place, respectively, with five points each. Yawal Gym Committee has indefinitely postponed the proposed district level bodybuilding competition scheduled to be held at Jiribam Champanagar on January 25 due to unavoidable circumstances. The sixth let Pu Yanko Kai Hawkeep Sports Meet, held since January 18, concluded today. 
No my bun youth club in Lamlai constituency organized a meet at its playground. Site to Emily Ngamtham Haukip, Lamlai constituency social worker KH Ibumcha, No my Jing Kampopi district MDC Dominic Marink and chief of the various villages around No my Jing took part in the valedictory event. Veteran men's and women's open teams from six youth clubs across Nawai Ching competed in volleyball and football matches of the sports meet. Speaking to media, Saitu MLA Ngamtham Haukip urged the public to encourage youths to participate in games and sports to boost to bolster the fame of Manipur, which is famous as the powerhouse of sports in India. Every politician sings the Ninawa, Nungai Nungai Bob, Wasi Hui, Tanning Bonnet. A good suit order to go, Nihara Nova, Nungai Nungai Ponga, was a wish of Nanning there. What do you suit to Bangam, but we don't suit to Bangam, but I said with a bit of Gaba. The Kuigi Lambi Tom, Kuigi Comte Hole, Charles, Sikul, Lambi Tom, May, Electric, Loy Namuse, he sings Dalkali. ขุนมาวันนี้ดอลคาลดอลคาลดอลคาลดอลคาลพังนับสิดามาดูวันนี้ดิโมคริสีเฮบิสิดีประชาชนมีหุ่นประชาชนหุ่นตะลีวันนี
that's all we have in this bulletin. Thank you for being with us. Coming up next is Primetime Manipuri Bulletin. For more news, you can follow Back TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Have a great evening and stay safe.